Hey guys, we're going to be programming this power pack to this Lutron Pico remote switch and to this Lutron occupancy sensor. It's a very easy process. I'll take you through it step by step. Three, two, one. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is put your power pack into programming mode. Now how you do this is you hold down the middle button for seven seconds, and then on the power pack, you'll notice the light start blinking green. Now another way to confirm this is your lights will start flashing every couple of seconds, but only if they're dimmable lights. If they're not dimmable, they'll just stay lit. Now you're gonna wanna hold down the bottom button on your Pico remote for seven seconds as well, and you'll get confirmation that they're programming to each other with a super fast blinking light, one on the remote and one on your power pack. Also, if you have a dimmable light, you will notice that they will blink three times in a row. This will also give you confirmation that the programming has been accepted by the light and the remote. Now at this point, you can take it out of programming mode by hitting the middle button again for seven seconds. But since we have an occupancy sensor to program, I'm gonna keep it in the programming mode. Now on your occupancy sensor, you're gonna to wanna to hold down the button with the little light bulb next to it. Hold down the button for seven seconds. And once programming is confirmed, the power pack will begin flashing rapidly and the occupancy sensor will begin flashing as well. Now, if your lights are dimmable, once again, they will be blinking three times in a row. Now, I myself have programmed up to 10 occupancy sensors and 10 Pico remotes on the same power pack. Now, take your power pack out of the programming mode, holding the middle button for seven seconds, and the LED light will no longer flash. I hope this video was helpful, and don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons on the bottom. Thank you for watching.